Hi everybody, I'm Sean Farker. Welcome to my YouTube channel, All About Magic. <laughs> Today, it really is all about magic, but not a lot of performing of magic. Uh, but I will show you a trick or two, I promise. Uh, it's um, uh, 2.05 a.m., 2.05 a.m. It's on Thursday, and um, I've been keeping pretty busy. Uh, Tim Hortons and the hot chocolate are keeping me, uh, keeping me a little active. Um, oh, it's sugar, not caffeine. Uh, Sugar works better for me. Caffeine, uh, yeah. And I know what you're thinking. thinking Sean, do you drink Coca-Cola or anything like that? Nope, I prefer hot drink. Uh, but the hot chocolate goes by really quick. Yeah. Uh, so welcome to the video. Uh, today we're going to talk about that. That there. Uh, Lost in the shuffle. And I'm going to show you a couple of magic tricks. I'm going to show you a trick with some money. Yeah. But first, uh, I'm going to talk about this. Uh, Lost in the shuffle, if you're not aware, uh, is a Kickstarter program that's going on right now uh, to help... Uh, to fund a documentary. Uh, it's a feature-length documentary uh, that's going to be produced and directed by a friend of mine, John Ornoy. And he wants to do a love letter uh, to magic. And he's enlisted myself and four of the best magicians uh, I, I've ever met. Uh, they are all brilliant. And this is going to be a documentary about the relationship between magicians and playing cards. Before I get too far into this, excuse the look I have. Uh, this is not modern art. This is... Uh, uh, I, I've been renovating. You can see there's... Uh, blue paint in between my fingernails uh it's two o'clock in the morning because i spent uh, most of today uh with my buddy alexander uh renovating the second bathroom at hidden wonders hidden wonders is my little show uh room and uh, uh we're now allowed to bring in maximum capacity because of that i only have one bathroom and i'm afraid that uh, if everybody uh, took two minutes going to the bathroom uh that'd be like an hour and uh, we don't have that kind of time uh, so we had a, a very ugly, disc ooh, a terrible little bathroom that we just walled off and uh, we just opened it up and we've uh, renovated it uh, to the tune of like, I think I'm $600 into it so far, but it's going to be cool. And I'll show you pictures on here because you will like it. It'll be a bathroom you'll want to poop in. Yep. That's, that's the motto going through my head while I'm painting and doing all this stuff. And um, so yeah, I'm covered in uh, paint, uh, but that's a whole other subject. Um, oh yeah, back to Lost in the Shuffle. Um, this is going to be a brilliant film. has uh, four other magicians involved. Uh, Alexander Duvivier from uh, Paris, France. We've got Michael Vincent from uh, London, England. Juan Tamariz from Barcelona, Spain. And Richard Turner uh, from San Antonio, Texas. If you watch my YouTube channel, and if you haven't seen it, go back and watch the video just before this one. I do a short interview with Richard Turner via Zoom. And he does a really cool magic trick. And oh, uh, to the one person that always dislikes my videos, you don't even watch them because there's no way you could dislike Richard Turner. Seriously. He's like, yeah, he's Richard Turner. Uh, wow. Um, but thank you for uh, interacting with the video. Just even a dislike actually shows interaction, which helps my algorithm. So uh, knock yourself out. And thank you so much. It made my day. And yes, I'm talking about you because I love you. I love you all. Even the people that don't like me, I still like you. I really do. Um, it's kind of a Zen thing. Uh, uh, my, my buddy, uh, Cool Magic Dude, said it was a good attitude to have, and I agree with him. Uh, so, uh, Lost in the Shuffle is this really cool Kickstarter, and uh, I want to take a moment uh, to show you something in this long list right here. You're about to see it. It's going to come up. These are going to be some, it's not up yet. These are going to be some people uh, that have contributed. Uh, they're the first 150. We have over 300, almost 400 contributors. And I'm going to scroll a list of the people uh, because I want to say thank you to them. I, I'm not going to call everybody's name. And the reason is I'm going to butcher them completely. Uh, many of the people I know, some people I don't know, some of them have handles instead or uh, uh, their, their names on Kickstarter. Uh, but there are some really really cool people in this list and I am honored uh, to have uh, many of the people that you're going to see in this list and thrilled for other people and deeply touched by people that uh, I didn't think like me but are supporting it. Uh, maybe they're uh, supporting the magic or, or, or maybe we're friends again and that would be nice because I, I, I want everybody to be friends. I, I really do. I know that sounds weird but it's true. Uh, so if you're one of the people uh, that have contributed and you see your name in this list, this is a deep heartfelt thank you from me. I, I, I never really imagined uh, what the support would be like. I knew it would be good, uh, but today, and the reason I'm starting this video is uh, today on Kickstarter, we hit 200% funded. Uh, that's incredible. They have these stretch goals, and it started at 30,000, and you know, uh, we go up from there. Uh, our next stretch goal is 75,000, and we just hit 60,000, so we're only 15,000 away from our next stretch goal. If we hit that one, I'm going to have my own hotel room, and I won't have to sleep in a bed with one of the lighting grips on the tour. 
very excited about that. <laughs> okay, <laughs> the money will be spent really well. Um, uh, let's start that list. And I, it starts with um, a, a dear friend of mine. He uh, belongs to a group called Joker's Gone Wild. And uh, Tommy is the most avid card collector in the entire world. And uh, Tommy's super fan, super great guy. And uh, uh, Tommy is the first one on the list. And then Colin, uh, another, uh, there are so many. I'm not going to say the names. Let's just start watching. And uh, oh, yeah, I know you too. That's very cool. And there's four efforts. Oh, very nice. You know who I'm talking about? And people from May's convention. Oh, past presidents of the IBM. Oh, super fan, Julie. How are you? And Andrew, so nice. Mark D'Souza. Oh, there are just too many. I, I'm not going to name them because I'll be way behind. Wait, I'm going to name more. There's Sherry. Thank you, Sherry. And Ron Hutsmith, my brother. You're going to be like an associate producer on this film. That's so good. I don't know who Burl Nutt is. He just went by. He's very cool. Alex Negler. Oh, very neat. Oh, look at them all. There's just a ton. Neil E. Walsh. Neil E. Walsh. Thank you, Neil. Uh, all of you. If you see your name, I, I oh, thank you, Chris Ramsey. You're going to be an executive producer on the film. That's so cool. Chuck Atchison. Very nice. Oh, very cool. I, I follow that guy. Oh, Michael Dardant. He's, uh, that's um, <laughs> that's uh, uh, Sean Fakewar. Michael Dardant's off. David Minkin. I love you, brother. Uh, Nicholas Watkins. Uh, Ken Cowie. Ken Cowie's like super fan for me. I love him. He's so good. He's like the super agent of uh, real estate. Ryan Wall. Oh, they're still going by, Zeb. Carissa. Thanks for all your help with this, Chris. Oh, bless your heart. Oh, so many yeses all the way in Sri Lanka. Trevor Waters. Hey, Trevor. And uh, Patrick. Uh, Mike Norton. And James Pickering. Shogun. Boys, thank you to everybody who is on this list. Uh, seriously, uh, without you, uh, this film wouldn't be made. I honestly mean that. And uh, it makes a difference. Hey, I said I'd do a magic trick. Let's do a magic trick. Uh, this has a story behind it. Uh, this is $21. It was given to me. It was given to me by uh, a mentor, a friend, a man I was so honored to call friend. Um, our first meeting was in 1983. It was at the uh, Hades Fun and Film Festival. Uh, John Patterson and uh, Pandora put it on for Mickey Hades. It was held at the Century Plaza Hotel. And uh, I was asked to perform uh, in the gala. And uh, I didn't do a good job. <laughs> it didn't go well. And the reason was I was uh, in between transitioning my act from the act that I used to do uh, to an act I was going to compete the next year at the Pacific Coast Association of Magicians. First time I was ever going to compete uh, in a big international competition. And I was in the transition period. And uh, uh, my mentors, uh, people at the time like uh, Lottie Hemian, said not to show the act until it was fully ready. And so I changed parts of the old act into the new act and then had to find ways to adapt it. And it didn't go well. It, yeah, I, I called it the humble video. I had a VHS cassette of it, and every time I thought I was doing really well, I'd put it in to remind myself that it didn't take far to fall. Um, uh, but when the, the show was over, uh, one of the big stars, uh, the big star of the convention, uh, came up to me to talk to me, and he said, uh, would you like uh, uh, some words of advice or critique on the show? And I, I said, yes. And he was honest with me, which is really cool. If somebody asks you for a critique, don't, don't, uh, don't take it wrong. It's not meant to be mean. It's meant to be honest. Um, I've learned that uh, sometimes when a person asks me for a critique, they're not really wanting it. They just want some praise. And I, I can't do that. That's just not me. I have to tell you what it is. But I won't tell you what's wrong unless I have a solution. And I think that's important. And it may not be the solution you want, but at least I offer something. Uh, on this particular day, uh, this man gave me a lot of advice, like a notebook full of it. And I listened to everything he said, and I changed it. And then the next year, in 1984, in Palo Alto, California, at the PCM convention, I competed uh, against a lot of very great magicians. All the members of the Magic Castle Youth Program uh, were in attendance competing. Um, some of the names I remember are like uh, Victor and Diamond. I'm pretty sure Dana Daniels, a guy named Jonathan Yarbrough. Um, who else? There were a lot. There were a lot. And they were really great. And they were like a team. They worked and helped each other. It was really crazy cool. And when it was all said and done, uh, I won. It was my first international competition. I still value that trophy. It's a little brass lamp and it sits down at uh, uh, Hidden Wonders on display. Very proud of it. Uh, the judge came up afterwards and uh, talked to me. Well, Jimmy Yoshida did first. He was a judge from Hawaii. And uh, uh, I'd asked him to take notes afterwards, not realizing he was a judge. And he said, I don't have any notes. I just thought it was awesome. And the other uh, judge uh, was the person that had given me uh, the notes a year before. And he came up and said, I had you as my winner. Uh, you actually listened to everything I said. 
And I said, of course I did. You're Eugene Berger. Yeah, Eugene Berger uh, coached me without even knowing it, just by helping me and uh, uh, for nothing. Um, and after that, uh, I adored the man. He, uh, he taught me the $100 bill switch and um, uh, so many other things over the years. I, I think he taught me to be a better person and a better magician. And um, now, sadly, he's gone, but he's still in my mind. And uh, these uh, bills, until uh, about a month into the pandemic, lived in my wallet uh, from our last encounter. Um, it was a magic trick he gave me uh, with uh, $21. Uh, this is how it works. Uh, you take a $1 bill, you fold the $1 bill. I only removed them from my wallet because I wasn't using my wallet or taking it anywhere. And then they were placed in a box over here, and that's where they've been sitting. And I found them today, uh, the 20. So there's a 20 and uh, a 1. And I'm going to place the two of them uh, together in my hand. Uh, now, here's what's going to happen. I'm going to place them both in my hand, and I'm going to remove one of them. This is an observation test. Uh, watch closely. I remove one. Uh, get it? I remove one. I remove one. And I hold it here. And then you have to tell me what's over here. If you guessed it was the 20, uh, you'd, you'd be wrong. Uh, this is the uh, one, one dollar bill. See that? That's the one dollar bill. And over here, uh, this is the twenty dollar bill. Yeah. Uh, I think this is so cool. And uh, Eugene had a beautiful story and a lot of magic behind it. Uh, for me, uh, it's not about the presentation, the story. It's the memory of who gave these to me. Um, it's really cool. Uh, a really cool magic trick. Um, okay. Uh, I'm going to cut this one short and uh, uh, just take a moment to say if your name appeared in there. Thank you so much. I'm going to make another video uh, with more names and I'll do some more magic. And uh, if you're interested in uh, what this project's all about, you can check it out at lostintheshufflefilm.com. Lostintheshufflefilm.com. I'll put that right down here in fancy titles. I'll try to. I'll figure it out. Um, lostintheshufflefilm.com. And it'll take you to the Kickstarter. You'll uh, read all about it. Uh, you'll find out there's so many things. Uh, we've got uh, decks of cards to offer you. Uh, right now, we're going to have draws for uh, wooden boxes that uh, high, I hand engraved and uh, uh, lasered. Uh, well, not in hand, you know, I have a laser machine that does it. But I, I laid out the design and everything. I'm kind of excited. Uh, there are uncut sheets being signed by the artist. Uh, um, you can, yeah, there's a new perk. Uh, if you've got an extra 10K lying around, uh, you can have a private show with Richard Turner in San Antonio. It'll take you to a back of a fancy little steakhouse. You'll have dinner. You'll hang out with Richard Turner and he'll do a private show for you and a guest. How crazy cool is that? And you'll be an executive producer on the film and uh, it'll, it'll be awesome. Uh, yeah. Uh, and if you don't have that, we'll, we'll take anything from $10 and up uh, or even a dollar, I think. Uh, anything um, to help with the film. Um, yeah. I'm just very excited. Can you tell? Yeah. Okay. It's uh, two eighteen in the morning and it's time for me to uh, stop this video so I can upload it. But first I'm going to do a, a couple of little edits to put in lost in the shuffle film.com. Oh, uh, if you like this video, like hit subscribe, uh, hit the notification. I found out that nobody hits the notification. There's a little bell, find the bell. Uh, then whenever I post a video, you'll get a notification saying, Sean's got another stupid video and then you can watch it. Um, yeah, that's it. Uh, I, I got to get some sleep because I got to get up in the morning and I have to finish uh, painting and hanging a door back on the bathroom and uh, putting a mirror up and uh, uh, doing a second coat and then getting ready because I have a show tomorrow night. Uh, sold out shows. Oh my heavens, they're all sold out. Uh, uh, all, all, almost all of November already. It's crazy. Uh, if you find what you love and you get to do it and people love what you do, uh, I, 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 you're blessed. I'm blessed. Um uh, I hope you're blessed, and whatever you're doing, uh, you love it, and uh, I'm going to get sappy, so I'm going to stop now. Keep well, keep busy, most of all, be happy. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.